before we go, I have a very special gift that I want to give to this little girl. You are gonna try to break me down right now. <laughs> seriously, seriously. It's from my heart to okay. you, okay? So come on, come on, come, come on. on. You gotta get up. Gotta get up. Okay, so come over here. Come on over here. Yeah, okay. we're gonna stand here and I'm gonna hug you. It's from my heart to yours. Okay. Dear Oprah, you have inspired an entire generation, informed us, exposed us, and challenged us. You took us places that we would have never been able to go to meet people we would have never been able to meet. You brought them into our living rooms. We could barely straighten up the house quickly enough before company arrived. Whew, Oprah's on. You resisted the gravitational pull to reduce your brand to the trivial and salacious just for the uh, triumph of high ratings. You bucked the trend and endured the ridicule of lesser rights. As Michelle Obama would say, when they went low, you and I. So I invited you here to say happy anniversary. Uh. You made us forfeit the dismal waters of mediocrity to experience the blissful wine of becoming the highest expression of ourselves. While I challenged the sacred, you brought hope to the secular. Who is O? A CEO? Absolutely. An acclaimed actress and producer? Without question. A savvy businesswoman? That's indisputable. But the reason that the public loves you so much is that we knew when our children were in trouble, our marriages in crisis and our cities in ashes, you'd find a way to use what you've been given to give back to us. And you did it without abandoning your humble beginnings, nor did you acquiesce to the pressures around you. Instead of responding, you were too busy shattering ceilings, knocking down doors, building schools for girls, affecting change, addressing universities, and advocating nations, pioneering programs, and yes, building your own network. Even when you don't feel it, always remember that you're a strong woman. In fact, a strong black woman. You fought off your foes, comforted your friends, helped your family, and still boiled black-eyed peas on New Year's <laughs> Day and grew cabbage in your garden. While we were watching this powerful woman every day, God wasn't. While we were reading old magazine, God wasn't. What he was doing, was watching over the little girl from Mississippi that lives inside that woman. <laughs> he shoved at her. Okay, ugly he cry. Her. He cuddled her, nurtured her, he carried her, and sometimes he even comforted her. He took her by the hand and walked her into the sunshine and out of the rain. He let her live to see so much more than life's heartaches, tragedies, or even her own pain. Never stop reaching out to him because he has always reached back for you. In your darkest moments, he was holding that little girl up and letting her see that despite of all who forsook her, betrayed her, and denied her, he chose her, called her, he made her a promise to protect her under the pinions of his mighty wings. Wow. While we were watching Oprah, oh yes we were, he was watching you. With all due respect, Bishop T.D. Jakes, my sister, we love you. Uh. A special thanks to you, my oh, sister. I love you. Oh, and to all of my friends, we'll see you next time. Oh.